Hi everybody, welcome to The Make a Chair. So in my last video we were talking all about the most common face shapes that are out there. So hopefully you guys all know your face shape and if you don't know it then you can check out the video. And I also have two blog posts. I have a quiz and I also have some celebrity examples up on my blog. And my most recent blog post was actually about how to style your hair depending on your face shape. So hopefully we all know our face shape by now but you can definitely check the down bar if you want more information or you can check the video up here if you want to have a look at it. But now we're going to talk about how to apply blush for your certain face shape and I do have a blog post coming on this as well so just keep watching. So let's start off with long faces. Now long faces are longer than they are wide so what we want to do is to widen them to make them broader and this way it's going to make it a little bit more balanced. So you want to smile and then this part that comes out is called your apple so you can just squeeze it here this is where your apple is. To create that kind of broadness you're going to apply it here and then you're going to blend it straight. So you're going to apply it onto the cheeks and then you're just going to blend it straight across. So you're not going up and you're not going down, you're going straight over towards the ear. So that way you're not gonna have this vertical look when people look at you. You're gonna have a little bit more of a horizontal balance to your face, which is going to create more of an oval shaped face for you. Now for a round shaped face, it's completely different. I'm actually gonna switch my brush to slightly smaller ones. I just have this one by Blank Canvas Cosmetics, it's quite small. And what you're gonna do is instead of smiling, which works for most people, you smile, you apply it here, you blend it, you're gonna do it slightly differently. You're not going to smile, you're gonna do the duck face, right? So you're gonna bring your cheeks, like your lips like this, so that your cheeks go a little bit more like this and then you're going to follow that kind of horizontal line that you get from here. And another trick is not to come in too close to the nose. So what I tend to do is to go off where your eye is. So if you just follow your eye when you're looking straight on in the mirror, here is okay to apply it but don't apply it too close. And you can just apply it here and then you're going to blend it upwards because what we want to do is to create more lift to the face and give it more of like a slender appearance. So instead of going like this, we'll just add more width and broaden the face. We're going to apply it like this so it'll lift the face. So you're going to load up your brush, you're going to do that duck face like this, and you're going to apply it and then you're going to blend it up. Now for a beautiful heart shaped face or anything that has beautiful cheekbones like say our diamond shaped face, our heart shaped face or a triangle shaped face, we are going to avoid the cheekbones because you guys have beautiful cheekbones. So what you don't want to do is to cover it with blush. You can want to highlight them a little bit if you wanted to or you can just leave them bare. So you're going to apply a little bit lower. So for you, you're going to fill your face just feel it along and my cheekbones are right about here for you guys it might be higher some people are lower and you're going to apply it underneath that because we don't want to interfere with your beautiful cheekbones so come a little bit lower you're going to apply it a little bit lower to there and then you're going to blend it so you can still blend it in this whole area here but you just want to make sure you leave that gap because you want your cheekbones to really stand out so you're going to apply it right underneath here you can apply a little bit to the apples but make sure you don't blend it up too close to those beautiful cheekbones. So I hope that helped some of you out. Please let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see. And definitely check out my blog post because I have tons of blog posts about different face shapes and stuff. Link them in the down bar or you can check out themakeupchair.blogspot.ie. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.